Hey there everyone, this is Chess Coach Aaron. How you guys doing? And I'm going to do a new series of videos. These are what I call fun chess variants. Chess variants use the chessboard and many times they use many of the rules, most of the rules of regular chess. Um, but there are some differences or some new rules and little tweaks. And the chess variants are basically a new game, but you still use the chessboard. And here's the reason why I love them. Chess variants, because they use a lot of chess moves and use the chessboard in pieces, help you with regular chess most of the time. Now, the first variant I want to show is a very simple one. It can be very quick sometimes. It's called three check chess. Basically, it's a race to just get to the third check first. One check, two check, three check, I win. Whoever gets that third check first, number three, the game ends immediately. You win. Three check chess. If your first check or second check happens to be checkmate, well, the game also ends. So you can win by checkmate earlier than the three checks to win. You're using all the same rules of chess. And basically, it's just a race to get to that third check. So... You have to kind of watch out. You have to play a little bit differently in a regular chess. For example, if I play e4, is e5 actually a good move? The answer is no, because now bishop c4 is already going to guarantee one check. Unless you want to move your king forward, put it on a dark squares, and notice all we have to do then is move forward, and now we're already threatening a check with our dark squared bishop. Remember, it's a race to three checks. And because of this, the piece value is not the same as in regular chess. For three check chess, I'll give up any piece for one check. One piece for one check, I'll do that in a heartbeat. For every piece, except the queen. If you can get the first two checks with the queen, check number one and then follow up with check number two with the queen before you lose the queen two checks for the queen i will do that also every time now you just got to try to find that third check but the queen is so strong and fast she's like a great finisher so if you get one check early with a small piece like let's say black does not pay attention and i allow an early check right so one check now all we need are two more checks we got to get the check three for white and the game is over. We could give up the queen for one check right now and get check number two. Well, you could do that and then try to get your third check. Now, black's got to pay very careful attention not to give up that third check. But you've given up the queen, and she is very strong no matter what variation of chess you're playing. So giving up the queen for just one check, I don't always want to do it. I want to get... You know, if she can get two checks, fine, but I want to get that queen to finish the game. I don't want to give it up before the third check, usually. So probably I played a knight out, threatening getting a second check quickly. And already white has a dominating position. So do not give up early checks. Or how shall we say easy checks. Uh, for example, if you're going to play e uh, 4 is your first move to get this bishop out, which makes sense, attack that weak upon, right? Well, a very good move to start with would be e6, because if the bishop goes to c4, it can't reach that f7 pawn. Notice the f pawns are so much even more sensitive and weaker in three check chess, because you'll sack on the f7 or f2 with a bishop like that um, to get a check. Not necessarily a knight. You're not necessarily going to do it with a knight. Uh, the winning material is still really good, of course. The smaller army your opponent has, the easier it is for you to hunt that king down and give the checks. You need three checks. So the ch sacrifice of a knight on f2 and f7 is not quite the same. That being said, there has to be very careful here, such as uh, both sides, e4, e6. So now, if you're going to play against the French in three check chess, and you know, against regular chess, French is great, d4. <laughs> but in three check chess, this is already losing. You gave up one check. For nothing. You didn't even get a piece for it. You gave up a free check. Not good. And if you say, oh, I can block the pawn, you gave up two checks. The bishop got two checks. This game is totally over. I mean, how is white going to stop that third check from occurring? It's basically just not possible.
So again, three check chess. And now I'll show you several quick blitz games, three minute games, because one of the things I love about one of my sites, the chess, one of my favorite chess sites, is that they have a lot of these chess variants, fun games of chess, as I call them, and they do have three check chess. All right, let's go over to some of these blitz games. I played three minute games or three check chess. I'll just run through them real quick just so you can see the fun. They're crazy. You kind of can't keep track of everything, but they're fun. Hold on one moment. All right, here's game number one on La Chess. And I'll just run through it. I was black, and they even do chess ratings for it on La Chess, which is kind of funky. My goal for all the fun variations of chess would be to get to 2,000. So that would be my goal. Um, but I'm just playing some of them now, and there's other variants. But we're talking about three check chess. All right, so my opponent played e3, I played e6. We'll just run through some of the moves and realize I have to avoid easy checks. So I can't let, whoops, I can't let an easy check once I played my pawn forward, right? Got to make sure I don't give up easy checks. It's not easy, actually. And one of the reasons um, why I love three-check chess is it helps you practice protecting your king. It also helps you practice aiming for the opponent's king. So now my opponent castled, so right away, instead of F2 being the square that's weakest, to get a check especially, it's now H2. So right away, this is going to be my target. My opponent saw it. Very good move. And three check chess. This is important. Don't give up easy checks. All right. And notice they are going to sacrifice on F7. Maybe get the queen on and get some checks. You can't always avoid everything, but again... If they're going to give me the queen for the first two checks, I may take that queen off the board and have a better army and then really try to protect my king from that third check. All right, let's see what happened in the rest of the game. They got one check. So I'm expecting, I would think, a second check just to get two checks, and then I have to be really careful. But my opponent decided to play a different way, such as if they can play f uh if they can play f7 check and I take, now they can get the third check, right, on g6. Game over. So I have to be careful. The only thing that would be able to capture this queen right now is my king. And I would set it up for this third check. But once they play that, I feel like I had enough resources. Because notice, all my pieces are now covering the king side. And yes, I gave up one check. So now let's hold on and try to get their king. Because again, it's a race to three checks. Got to get rid of the bishop. It's really strong. Now I'm aiming at their king. And they block. I had a bishop and a queen. I was actually a checkmate threat. They block. But realize it's not worth giving up the queen for one check. And this long diagonal kind of decides this game, to be honest. Pins still count. All the normal ideas of chess still count. You can't put your king in danger in three-check chess. And here I'm thinking of checks and checkmates. So notice what's happening here. I could have tried to play knight over to h5 instead and threaten checkmate on g2 and try to unleash another checkmate if they capture. I decided to go this way. I don't know which one was better. And right here, I was about to play bishop capture um, d4, you know, pinning the queen and basically started to threaten checkmate and wrap this game up. But my opponent actually resigned here. So checkmate is still legitimate three-check chess. If it's the first or second um, check, it still wins. But whoever gets the three checks first wins. Didn't quite happen. My opponent did resign. All right, let's get to another quick game. And the next one, I won't even talk. I'll just run through it real quick. Hold on. All right, here is another three-minute um, three-check chess blitz game I played on um, Le Chess. And I'll just run through the moves real quick. And you can see my opponent just trying to get quick threats, quick checks. I'm just trying to block them all. And he played very smart at first, which is, you know, trying to, uh, you know, I'm playing defensively around my king. And he's trying to open up this position, perhaps, right? Try to get a check from the bishop, maybe chase my knight away. I don't think even if the queen is good. But let's run through some more moves. And this was probably a poor choice here. Um, my king is totally safe after this. It's hard to get some easy checks. But now once I can open this up and my king, I moved it over, is off this diagonal, I can open it up and start getting to the king side. But still, plenty of game left. No one has any checks yet. So I'm not sure why he put his queen over here. I get a free check in. So 
Obviously, F4, not a good move. Got a free check in. And now I'm just trying to open it up. I'm trying to get his king. And here, I don't know why he might maybe panicked and gave up the queen for one check. Again, not a good idea. I'll just run through the rest of the moves because this game is almost over anyway. I mean, basically. All right, that was three checks. And I'll do one more. I played a really good player in game three. And again, if I'm going to do um, goals with my fun variants on the chess, the fun games of chess, I'm trying to get to 2,000 for all of them. So that will be a goal for it. All right, hold on. Let's get the last game because I like to show three quick games also whenever I can. Why not? All right, in this game, I also finally had white. Uh, I had black several times in a row. And it's not as easy to play black as usual. It's even a little bit more pronounced in three-check chess than regular chess. In regular chess, white has a slight advantage by going first. It is there, you can acknowledge it, but it's not a huge advantage. It's not a winning advantage. In three-check chess, though, they have a little bit more of an advantage by going first. Again, it hasn't been proven that's a winning advantage, but black's got to be very careful, not give up easy checks. All right, I played E4. A lot of people say you should be playing E3 and make it very secure for your king early on. So maybe E4 is a little loose, I don't know, but I'm going to try to take over some of the center anyway, and let's see how this game went. And once they, again, once they castled, my bishop is not so strong here. This is kind of like regular chess in terms of that idea. I'm going back to d3. I want to get some checks over here. So now, if you pay attention, when they played knight here, this was an excellent move. Why? Because if my knight leaves c3, they get a check in. So I played a really bad move, perhaps capturing. I was focused on check and maybe a knight check and maybe my queen following kind of like the greek gift uh sacrifice and regular um chess but allowing your opponent to get a check in is not good so i didn't really pay attention to it and they didn't see it either after i take here i'm thinking about sacrificing they should have immediately checked they should have they actually paid more attention to my bishop instead of them getting their check in they would get their first check in why not and if they had checked i would have to move my king over again Let's see. Uh, oh, I didn't go to the analysis board. Sorry, let's go over to the analysis board real quick. Sorry. Here, if they go check, any blocks, you know, with my bishop or the c3 pawn or even a knight or a queen, they're all bad moves because you're giving up a second check. This is all about checks. So it's better to move just the king out of the way to the light square. And I still try to have some threats of my own, but I can't give up any more easy checks. That's just bad three check chess. <laughs> <laughs> not, that, not that I already played great three-check chess, but it's a lot of fun. I do admit I love three-check chess. But all right, they should have just checked me. They actually paid attention more to my threat on h7 than they played g6. Why well, doesn't hesitate? I saw that after I played this capture here, so I had to castle get my king out of there, of course. All right, let's fly through some more of these moves, and you can kind of see what's going on. And this was actually a very interesting game, both three-check chess or regular chess. I'm just trying to make sure they don't have any checks, and I'm trying to slowly improve my position and get to the point that I'm going to get some checks against this king. I need to get some checks. And they played very well, and oops, I lost the exchange. But in three-check chess, it's not so important, to be honest. Um, here, I'm just trying to figure out, and I want them to take this pawn. I'm trying to figure out how to get that king, and it's not easy. Very good game of chess here. Um... I don't think this light squared bishop's that important. I think it's about getting rid of their dark squared bishop. So I really wanted to get rid of it. So I was hoping they would take, and they did. Why? Well, once I played my knight to e5, I'm already threatening more checks. Um, not that I have any checks yet, but getting checks, pretty strong, right? You need three of them. <laughs> All right, so they've removed my knight. And, of course, taking the queen is not good. I would just play my bishop back in this long diagonal would just be winning at this point. That king would be trapped and I'd get some checks. That'd be just too strong. So, moved the bishop over. I didn't really care. I was going to play my bishop anyway because once their bishop's gone, this is really strong. And if I can move this pawn, maybe moving the pawn first, getting it off this diagonal and open would have been smarter. So, this might have been smarter because I'm threatening checks with the queen. I've checked with the bishop. So, there's two checks right there. It only needs a third check. So, this is probably what I should have done. Um... You know, looking at a slow motion, you can kind of see the more obvious moves, of course. And that, that would have been much smarter. Because this pawn is just blocking me from reaching this king with the queen. I can still get a check over here. But holding this whole, I can get this anytime. So holding this 
King pinning it in the corner kind of was uh, one of the reasons why I didn't waste this bishop for a check yet. And it really isn't a waste, of course. You need three checks, but I can do this anytime. This king's not going anywhere. So getting this long diagonal open, probably the smarter way. But I played the bishop back thinking this would be winning this way. Hmm. Well, next time. All right, they attacked my queen. I said, all right, well, I'm going to go on this long diagonal anyway. And now they did block this pawn. But they don't really have... A lot of things they can do here. What are, exactly are they going to do? This is just too weak. Once I get this rook over to a key spot and I infiltrate going to the side, I mean, how are they stopping all this? And right now I have at least one check, right? The bishop coming in here with protection is one check. And if you let it, it's going to be two checks. So they block. They don't give an easy check. I pin the rook, and again, I can get this check anytime. I could always get this check on g7. They try to get out of this, bring my rook around. Again, they get out of this one, but I'm okay with it. I'm going to get this check instead. <laughs> Move the queen, get my check. Now, how does black survive? I have a rook coming down here. So if they take with the king, right, I can get the check on d8 instead. Or I can go check with the queen and follow this way. If they move the king and don't take the bishop, well, I have check over on g7. So they kind of have to take and see if I'm going to do anything but my rook just going over here is just wins. And all I got to do now, I have two checks. They don't have any. All I have to do now is not give up checkmate and get that third check. With the queen, it's really hard to stop. So they take the rook. All I have, I'm down a rook. All I have is this queen, right? Because I can't get on the light squares with my dark squared bishop. All I have is a queen. But again, it's almost impossible to stop. Threading getting checks over here. They black it with the queen. Very smart. I took the pawn. I'm threatening taking the bishop with the third check. Again, the, using the queen wisely. Can you guys see the winning move, though? Whoops. The winning move after they block with the queen. How do you make it so there's no way to stop that third check? Well, I played queen c1 because I'm threatening check over on h6. King can't run away. And if they try to block with the pawn, now this diagonal becomes open, so I get my third check on c2 instead. Anyway, lots of fun. I hope you guys try some three-check chess, one of my favorite variants of all time. And just a little history real quick. Anatoly Karpov, world champion, was amazing at three-check chess. He loved three-check chess. There are some people who actually said, and it's hard to believe, that he was better at three-check chess better at it than he was regular chess and he was world champion at regular chess he's one of, he might be one of the top 10 players of all time maybe definitely a top 20 of all time top 15 of all time i'm gonna say also maybe a top 10 of all time just an amazing uh player world champion for 10 plus years and he might have been better at three check chess than regular chess and he loved it he would play this all the time supposedly he never would lose at three check chess anyway this is coach Aaron out and have a good week and peace.